The second verse in that song really resonates with my heart. It says, I'd rather have Jesus than men's applause. I'd rather be faithful to his dear cause. I'd rather have Jesus than worldwide fame. I'd rather be true to his holy name. And I think that resonates with me because I know in this life, it's so tempting to seek approval of people and pursue what the world pursues and that affects the choices that we made. And Paul had that concern in the early church. And this is what he says in Philippians 3, 7 to 11. But whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his suffering, becoming like him in his death. And so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. So let's ask Jesus to help us to focus on him and get our satisfaction from him and pursue knowing him above everything else. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for your word and the reminder that in Jesus we have everything Help us not to pursue the things of this world, thinking that's what's going to finally satisfy us. Lord, we want to chase after you, seek to know you more, and to become more like you. God, thank you for loving us exactly the way we are, imperfect and messy. You sent your son Jesus for us so that we can have a relationship with you through the power of his death and resurrection. And through faith, we choose to live life for you and in you and through you surrendered. Lord, help us to live a life that shines your light in this dark world. In Jesus' name, amen.